Hey guys, I wanted to share with you today my top tip for making artworks that last. And this is also all about the mistake that so many artists, acrylic artists make when they're creating their pieces. So I'm going to show you how you can get your paint to get, have that beautiful transparent and drippy effect without affecting the quality of your artwork. Now, if you're interested in my videos, if you're loving them here on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like, comment below and share as well. If you're watching, actually, I'd love you to drop a little comment below and just say to me, hmm, let's give you a fun word today. Say drip, how's that? <laughs> If you could type drip below if you're watching, I'd love to see it. So I know that you're tuning in. And without further ado, let's dive in. Alrighty, so here we are. Today I'm going to be working with some paper, acrylic paper. So this is called an acrylic pad by Art Spectrum. It's 400 GSM and I'm working in A5. The size doesn't really matter today, but just wanted to share. So that's what I'm using today. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to get this drip effect and this transparency um, without basically having a dodgy sort of impact on the quality of your work. Um, so when you're working with acrylic, such as this one by Academy Acryl Color, um, you want to make sure you have less than 30% of your mixture um, being water. So that is the, that's a, a, the mistake a lot of artists make. So you want less than 30% of your mixture being water. Um, if you wish, like if you hope to have add more water than that to your mix because you want more transparency or you want more drips or something like that, that's when you need to look into a product like this one from Derivan Matisse. This is called Surface Tension Breaker. And basically it acts as water. So if you use a product like this instead of water, you're going to have a longer lasting result. And my cats decided to say hi. Can I say hi to everyone? They're looking at the top of your head. Can you say hi? <laughs> this is Maui. He's my cheeky cat. All right, so here in my little palette, I've got some water already, which I think you can see in this mix here. And I'm going to add some of my paint. So this is acrylic paint. Um, it's the Academy brand, just for your information. You, you can use any brand. Um, and this is the Cerulean Blue. So I've got this here so that one doesn't run away. Um, and I'll mix that one up for you. If you're watching at this point, you've come so far, well done. Um, I'd love you to drop another little comment below. Um, maybe you can drop the word watching and then I know that you're watching and you're benefiting from my videos. It really means a lot to me um, to be helping artists like you. Okay, so this is just a water mix. There's a whole lot of water here. And it's going to give us a beautiful sort of thin watercolor -y effect and you're going to get some nice little drops there whoops there we go so we've got some drips there and we've got the transparency okay so that's all good and well um, if you were working like this on canvas you are going to run into trouble down the track so a few years down the track what you're going to find is that this paint will start to flake off your canvas and the quality of your artwork will no longer be um, apparent or will no longer be there. Um, so that is the main problem with working exclusively with, with water. If instead you use a product like this, you always start with the medium first and then you add in your colour. Just saves you a whole lot of um, medium if you do it in that way. And we'll mix that in. You're thinning out your acrylics using a product that is still essentially still acrylic, right? So it um, does not negatively affect the quality of your um, the quality of your paint and the quality of the bond. Trying to get a drip here without <laughs> without this one running off the page. Can I do it? Probably not. I'm just going to pop this under. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. I'll just put that there to be nice and neat and tidy. So 
you can get the drip with both of these um, methods, but you're going to have a better bond with this choice here using the surface tension breaker. Alrighty, I hope you found this lesson and this tutorial help, helpful for you. Um, comment below if you enjoyed this, just give me a smiley face or something in the comments um, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like, it, like this video, share it on your own socials if you're able, um, and I would absolutely love to know that you're watching if you give me a smiley face below. Thanks, guys. See you next week.